Hello students, this lesson is going to be about cause and effect, flowcharts, and graphic organizers. We're going to look at cause and effect within a text, and then we're going to figure out how to fill in a flowchart or graphic organizer using cause and effect relationships. So let's look at this example. We're going to read this text and we're going to figure out how to organize it so that it fits this flowchart. We're going to have three things that cause one thing. So let's read this. People have many ways to express themselves, to show how they feel or what they think. One way that feels especially good is laughter. We laugh when we see or hear something funny. And we laugh sometimes just because other people are laughing. Some people laugh when someone tickles them. Laughter has an important place in human communication. Okay, so we need three things, and those three things are gonna cause this one thing. Well, I think you already know what it is. That one thing would be laughter. We can say that these three things that we find in the text are all causes of laughter, and laughter is the effect. So what is our first cause of laughter listed in the text? Well, this sentence here, one way that feels especially good is laughter, is what introduces us to our topic of laughter. Let's look at the next sentence. We laugh when we see or hear something funny. Okay, that tells us that our laughter the we laugh part is caused by us seeing or hearing something funny. So we're going to put that here. We see or hear something funny. Let's see what our next cause is. And we laugh sometimes just because other people are laughing. So the other people laughing causes us to laugh. So we're gonna put that here. Now, since it's other people laughing, we don't have to have the R. We can just say other people laughing. That causes us to laugh. That causes our laughter. And then another cause that's listed here some people laugh when someone tickles them. So we can list that as another cause because it also causes laughter. We could say someone tickles them, but that's not very clear as a cause. Let's just say being tickled being tickled can cause laughter. So those three things cause laughter in this chart. Now we're gonna look at another example. Not long ago, scientists generally agreed that the human body could not possibly last more than 120 years. Nobody believes 120 to be the limit anymore. People have already lived beyond that age. A Japanese man, Shigichio Izumi, lived to almost 121. And a woman in France, Jean-Louise Calment, made it to 122. People in many parts of the world are living longer lives now than people did in the past. This is partly because of better public health and safer water supplies, greater understanding of how to treat heart problems 
has made a big difference as well. Scientists are learning more all the time about how we can live longer, healthier lives. So medical care in general has improved. Maybe someday they will even invent a pill to stop the aging process completely. Okay, in this chart, we're gonna have four things that are causing one thing. And what do you think that one thing is? Well, it's what this whole paragraph is about. It's about how people in many parts of the world are living longer lives now than people did in the past. So this is the result of four different things. People live longer. This is the result of four different things in the paragraph. What are those four different things? Well, we have this is partly because of better public health and safer water supplies. So we will put one here, better public health. And we'll put this one, the safer water supplies, here. Safer water supplies. Both of these two things cause people to live longer. Let's continue. Greater understanding of how to treat heart problems has made a big difference as well. Okay. So we could put that, we'll put that in the bigger box. Greater understanding of how to treat heart problems. And let's see if we can find one more thing. Scientists are learning more all the time about how we can live longer, healthier lives. So medical care in general has improved. Well, that's a lot to say. We would just wanna say it in a concise way. So we should just say this general statement down here medical care has improved. If we look at this last sentence, maybe someday they will even invent a pill to stop the aging process completely. We know that the pill is not gonna be one of these causes because it hasn't been invented yet. So these are our four causes that brought about the effect of people living longer. Here's another example of a flow chart. And in this flow chart, we're gonna have one thing that causes another thing. And then when that thing happens, it causes another thing. So this is going to be our end result. And so let's begin. Australian government scientists predict that the hole in the ozone layer over Antarctica will start shrinking in 2005 and close up completely by 2050. The researchers say that the level of ozone destroying chlorine in the atmosphere is falling because of the ban on using chlorocarbons in refrigerators and air conditioners. So we're looking at the end result. This is going to happen after everything else happens. And this is gonna happen because of something else. 
So what are the three things that are going to happen? The Australian government predicts the hole in the ozone layer over Antarctica will start shrinking in 2005 and close up completely by 2050. Okay, that's one thing that's going to happen. The researchers say that the level of ozone destroying chlorine in the atmosphere is falling. That's another thing that's going to happen on this chart. Because of the ban on using chlorocarbons in refrigerators and air conditioners, that's another thing. There was a ban on using chlorocarbons in refrigerators and air conditioners. Now we know that one of these things is talking about the future. And the other things, this one is falling, is talking about the present. And the ban on using chlorocarbons and refrigerators is talking about the past. So actually the ban would come first because it happened in the past. So we have a ban on using fluorocarbons. That happened first. And it was because of this ban that the next thing happened. The researchers say that the level of ozone destroying chlorine in the atmosphere is falling. This is happening because of this. Okay? So the chlorine level in the atmosphere is falling. And then the last thing on our chart would be what's going to happen in the future. That's when the hole, the hole in the ozone layer will start shrinking and close up. So even though these three things are mentioned in a different order in the paragraph, we know this is the order in which each thing is going to happen because the ban on using chlorocarbons is what caused the chlorine level in the atmosphere to fall. Okay, it says here that the, the level of ozone destroying chlorine in the atmosphere is falling because of the ban. And then we know that when this is falling, this is what's allowing the hole in the ozone layer to start shrinking and close up. Now the scientists, the scientists predicted that this was going to happen in the future. And it was going to happen because of this, which happens because of this.